welcome back to the channel, Vintage and Collectible Stuff. I'm uh, This weekend, I've got a lot of dinky toys that I picked up recently at an auction for a pretty good price. So I'm uh, going to show you what I picked up. And all these items are listed on my eBay channel, Vintage and Collectible Stuff. So if you're interested, you can check them out and give me an offer and perhaps we can get a deal. So I'm going to start with the 18-pounder quick-firing field gun unit, which is this one right here. It actually is supposed to have three parts to it. I'm missing the middle part, and that would be, uh, oh, what's it called? It is the trailer called, or numbered 162B. But let's start off with the tractor. So this is 162A, and it is missing one of the tracks. So there's the one there. You see it turns very well. On the other side, it's missing the track. Nothing I can do about that. It does come with a driver. It's actually got spots for five soldiers to sit. And uh, so I've got the driver. Really good condition. Zoom in in here on him or her. Uh, and so, yeah, this is uh, Caterpillar Tracks and it's an open top tractor used for transporting soldiers, ammunition, and this gun right here, 162C. There's the shield, and it's a uh, really good condition. It's got the wheels, it's got the green hubcaps, it attaches right there, and what else can I say? So this was used in the military to lug around soldiers, ammunitions, and this field gun, this 18 pounder. Yeah, so that's the first item. Put that down, zoom out again. We'll just park that over here. The next item is going to be the scout car, number 626, or 673 rather. You see it also comes with the driver. This was produced between 1953 and 1959 by Damler. It was nicknamed the Damler Dingo, named after the Australian wild dog. And uh, this was used by the British and the Commonwealth during World War II and during the Cold War. So pretty good condition, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, you can see there's some dust remnants, but it's got uh, the driver sitting in. It's got uh, only room for one soldier, so got that. Pretty good condition, you know, some scuff marks it's been played played with. And there is the back of it. You can see Dinky Toys Scout Car, number 673, made in England. So we've got that little guy. Next up, we got the 674 Austin Champ, this Jeep. This Jeep was produced uh, by the British Austin Motor Company in the 1950s. It was made for both military and civilian use. It was uh, officially called the Austin Mark I, but uh, unofficially by the civilian population, it was nicknamed the Champ. So we got one driver, it's got room for, well, the driver is actually not in the driver's seat, but it's got room for three more soldiers. It's got the spare tire that turns, on the back, it's got the gas tank, or the gas can. It's got the uh, four wheels, in very good shape. I'm just gonna hold that and turn it over, as you can see that underneath. So, very good shape. Very good shape. Nice. And let's take a look at the next one. The next one is going to be the Dinky number 670 is the Damler Mark II Staghound Armored Car. This was, let's see, produced between 1954 and 1965. It's got a rotating gun turret that holds a three inch ho howitzer. And it's got cast iron hubs and it's not plastic. And it's in good shape. Uh, nothing really wrong with this at all that I can see. Very clean on the bottom, the chassis. There's the number, 670. There's the name. Probably one of the nicest condition um, toys here that I've got. Apart from some minor dust, it's in really good shape. The paint on it, it looks really good. The decal 
on the front, on the back. So super specimen there of a dinky toy. Almost feel, over 50 years old. Okay, the next one. I think I'm going to show you 152B, the re reconnaissance. Oh no, the reconnaissance car. This one right here. This was made between 1954 and 1956. And uh, this is a post-World -War, War II model. It's got six wheels, which is kind of neat, as you can see. Four in the back, two in the front. It's got no driver, no windows. It's got the spare tire hidden back here. And what else can I say about it? It's, um, yeah, I think that's all I can really say about this car. Except if you want it, put an offer in for it, it could be yours. Could be mailed to you within a couple days. So that takes care of that one. Now let's move on to Dinky 643. And this is the Army Water Carrier, produced between 1958 and 1964. This was made with or without windows. And this version does not have the windows, but it does have the driver inside. As you can see, turn it over. Very nice, very clean. No rust, no major paint loss. Um, a little bit dirty here and there. Just need to take some water, some Q-tip, a Q-tip, and just get between the cracks and uh, clean it up really well. We've got some minor paint loss here on the roof. A little bit on the edges. A little bit there around the tire, the rim of the tire. A little bit on the bonnet. But pretty good overall, I must say. Very nice. All right, let's zoom out here, see where we're at. The next one, let's do the military ambulance. This is dinky number 626. This was made between 1956 and 1962. This is the version with the windows and it has the driver inside, as you can see. There he is. So this has got four Red Cross emblems on it. They are one on the on the top, one on the side, one in the back, and one on this side. The back door is open. It's got the hinges. It helps if I maybe turn it upside down. Let the gravity help open it up. As you can see, very very clean. Nothing inside. Uh, probably I close this one first. There we go. And this one second. There we go. And there's the tires. It's got one, two, three, and four tires. Good shape. Some paint loss up there on the top, but the body or the box of it is pretty good. The back, underside of it, excellent condition. There you see number 626, the military ambulance by Dinky Toys, made in England by Mercano. So that takes care of that one. Let's put it over there. And I got three left. I've got, let's start with, um, I've got two versions. I got two versions of the Leopard Tank. This is Dinky Toy number 692. This was a main German battle tank produced by Porsche or Porsche in West Germany. First entered service in 1965. And these were made by Dinky between 1975 and 1979. And this is the better of the two versions. It's got decals on it still, as you can see, maybe not full decals, but it's got some of them on the side there, on the front. And on that side, so if you, if I just zoom in here, if you crank this, I just wanna move it back. If you crank this, the gun turn will go up, will raise to the top position like so, and turn it you know, lower. It's got uh, a gun here on the top, still turns, rotates in good condition, and 
I guess these things came with an actual missile at one point, one point in time. Uh, this is the firing mechanism here. You can see the spring locks and loads. And then I believe, I'm not too sure how it fires, but maybe like that, you let it go. And the spring action fires the missile out of the gun turret, which I don't have. But you might have it, and you're just missing the tank. So there is the track. It's in good shape. You know, it's got maybe some paint on the back there, but it turns backwards and forwards. And it's got the track on this side as well. Frontwards and backwards. Turn it over. That's what the back looks like. So that is the better of the two. I do have a second one. Not as nice as that, but still, it's all here, pretty much all here. It's got uh, the track, the one there, the one here. So that's really good. It's got the gun on the top. It needs a bit of cleaning. It also has the spring, but it's missing a couple parts. It's missing the black part over top of the, uh, the firing mechanism. So it goes and locks into place like that. And again, I think you just fire it by like turning it. And it's missing, uh, not too sure what it was on the other one. Let's bring the other one. This black thing here, it's missing that one. Um, and the gun turret. It works. If I can just turn it the right way, you can see it moving up, all the way up, as far as it will go. And then you turn it all the way down. And voila. There you have it. So a little bit cheaper on eBay than the other one for obvious reasons. Oops, almost knock over my lamp. And let's take a look at the last thing. The last thing I've got is probably the best. Save the best for last, they say. This is dinky number 696. It's also a Leopard tank, but it's the anti-aircraft version of the Leopard tank. Yeah, so this was made between 1975 and 1980. And let's just take a look at it. So it's got like a satellite here. I guess it holds up like that. It's got a couple of antennas, a little bit bent, probably from being in a box somewhere. It's got the anti-aircraft guns, which I believe you just sort of like turn like that. There's no mechanism to crank it up or crank it down. And it's got this thing here in the front, which, you know, I'm trying to figure it out what it is and actually haven't figured out. It does turn, turn somewhat. So I'm not too sure if it's something that is missing. Is it supposed to do something? I'm not 100% sure. If you know what it does, you can please post a comment in the bottom. That would be great. It's got track here, goes both ways. Other track goes both ways. Got a little hitch here at the back. Turns. Oh, there we go. Turns all the way around. Does it turn all the way around? It does. So that's good to know. The tanks also turn all the way 360. So that is a pretty sweet looking anti-aircraft tank. Just gonna lift it up again and zoom out. I like that one. So that is the most expensive one I'm posting. But make an offer, make a good offer. Who knows, I might, I might accept it. Let's just check to make sure this goes all the way around. And it does like so. And last but not least, the other leopard tank, it's a little bit more looser. But there you go, 360. And there you have my collection of military vehicles from World War II up until the 19 early 1980s let's just put the uh, let's drive the what's it called again the light dragon tractor back to the front there you have it thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it 
I hope you like this, like seeing this kind of stuff on my channel. I know it's not baseball cards, but I'm really into like vintage and collectible toys, hence the name of my eBay uh, store and my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side.